Hello everyone, Dino here with another fragrance review. Today we'll be doing a very honest review of Versace's The Dreamer. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Versace The Dreamer was released by the House of Versace in 1996. Apparently this is the last fragrance that Gianni Versace had his hand in before his untimely death in 1997. So let's go ahead and take a look here at the presentation. You have the bottle here with the clear fragrance. You got a frosted Medusa head. And I really like the design. It's very gaudy, a <laughs> typical Gianni Versace creation, of course. One thing to take note is the top here. There's no cap. So you see the sprayer here, and there's the button for the spray. I've seen a lot of people try to pull this off, and if you do, you could actually break the bottle. So don't do that. Uh, word to the wise. Here you have the standard box, which I think is nice as well. And this is an eau de toilette concentration. Let's go ahead and take a look at the notes in this fragrance. For the top notes, you have juniper, tarragon, and artemisia. Middle notes, you have iris, lily, and flax. In the base notes, you have tobacco blossom and amber. So let's go ahead and take a look at this fragrance and see how it is. As I stated before, the button is at the top. This is actually quite a nice itemizer as well. And I'll go ahead and tell you what I think of this fragrance. So right off the bat on this fragrance, I'm getting a lot of the tobacco blossom. It's very, very powdery. It's very floral forward. I think it could also be the lily and a little bit of the iris as well. But uh, it's definitely a vintage type of scent. Um, as I stated before, I will give an honest review on this fragrance. Uh, I don't think it's a very safe blind buy. Um, you know, on the Versace line, you have, you know, Mana Fresh, uh, Dylan Blue, Poor Home. And this smells nothing like that. Uh, those fragrances I just mentioned are a little bit newer. Uh, but this one is a little bit more vintage. So I would not buy it expecting it to smell like those others. So when I found this fragrance, I found it at a drugstore. I think it was about $20. So it wasn't very expensive. Um, but it's, it's, like I said, it's, it smells nothing like the other Versace line. It's very vintage. And at first, I actually hated it. I almost threw it in the trash, but I thought, you know what, I'm going to give it a shot. So I actually wore it for a week, and now I actually, I really enjoy it. But it did take time for me to warm up to it, and it's not something I liked right away. So it's not something I think everyone would like, in my opinion. But I do think for the $20 price range, it's not a bad deal. Or if you're looking for, you know, the Versace name, it's worth a try. But I would definitely recommend trying it before you buy it. Um, if you're not into those type of fragrances. But it, as I said, it's very strong. It might be the tobacco note, very strong and uh, not something that I'm used to, but now I actually really like it and I'm glad to have it here in my collection. I'd say for longevity with this fragrance, I get about four hours on my skin. I would definitely not say it's a beast by any means, but uh, I do enjoy it and I like it. I think it's good for, really, it could be a signature scent. It's good for off the office, good for everyday wear. It's I don't think it's very formal, so I wouldn't wear it like on a date or out to a nice engagement or a function, but I think for everyday wear, it's actually a pretty nice fragrance. But one thing I really like about this fragrance is it's very unique, and I don't know anything else that smells like it out there. So like I said, if you're looking to you if you're looking for a Versace fragrance, not something that's not very expensive, go ahead and give it a try. You might end up liking it, but I would just recommend to give it a chance and see what you think. But go ahead and drop me a comment and give me a like. Tell me, have you tried this fragrance? What are your thoughts on it? Uh, but this is Dino sign off, and I'll see you again next time. Thank you for watching.